are the kids? The kids? Well, you didn't care much about the kids last night, did you? No. Preschool club. Well, he said preschool club was for parents who can't be bothered to make their kids breakfast. Your words, not mine. Yeah. Well, the fact that I'll take them somewhere I don't particularly like will give you a pretty good indication of how I'm feeling this morning. You see, while you were snoring away and sleeping your head off, I was wondering how my life came to this. Don't give me our time. Ooh, I feel bad enough it, as it right? is. The shame of it. And my wife arrested for what? Being drunk and disorderly and criminal damage. Oh, I know you were ashamed. So ashamed you couldn't even be bothered to get me from the station. You really know how to make a girl feel yeah. special. Yeah. And you really know how to make a husband feel embarrassed. Whilst I was being carted away by the boys in blue, you... you turned and walked away! Hey, well, you're such a classy bird. Look, I might have been an utter and complete idiot last night. But have you ever stopped to ask yourself why? Don't tell me. It was a cry for help. No, Dev. A scream. <laughs> Gonna be late for work. Yeah. Ooh! I love croissant for breakfast, me. This goes so well with coffee. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Mark. Anyway, to the uh, business of the day. Oh. Your happy-go-lucky glass-half-full daughter knows about our secret love. Indeed, yes. So, our secret love is no secret anymore. How are we going to play it? Dearest Louis, we are going to play nothing. We're just going about our daily business as usual, and to hell with a lot of them. Ten out of ten for Dunkirk spirit. We shall fight them on the beaches. We shall fight them in the hair salons as well. And in the bistro. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. With confidence like that, we can only win. Mm. I've got a really good feeling about today. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. We had a late shower. Cat stuck up a tree, wouldn't you believe? Oh, <laughs> you get all the best gigs. Yeah, where is she? She's gone back to bed. All right, what's all this? Uh, I found her making them at two o'clock this morning. Oh, God. Mm. That's just half of them. The rest are taken to work. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, um, I forgot. I can have her tonight. Cockney Mick wants to swap shifts so we can have Thursday off, so I can have her. You put your feet up. Oh, all right, love. Right, I've got to go. So yeah, I can't yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Mm. Bye. Will you shift your backside and get to school? I won't say it twice. Craig, I said, will you shift your backside and get to school? Just look at my face. Go on. Take a long, hard look at it and tell me. Am I happy or am I fuming? Because, well, two things, actually. Firstly, clean that rat cage out. It's disgusting. You can come home for your dinner and do that. And second, what is this? Placky bag? I don't know why I'm asking. I know it's a placky bag. Yeah, and what's in it? Which one of you two idiots has broken my perfume? I never went near your flaming perfume. Well, I sniffed it and I thought it smelt rank. I've done it. It was only an accident. But what are you sniffing the bits for? I weren't. I was reaching for a book brush and my hand slipped. I tidied it up, scraped it all into a placky bag and everything. Yeah, well, I will be charging you for it. Do you know how much things cost? Were it knock off? No, it wasn't knock off. Then I don't know. Sorry. Well, pin your flabby earlobes back and you hear this loud and clear. Don't you ever, ever go near my stuff again, neither of you. Comprend, eh? With the field in bloom. Oh, is that like gardening competition thing? No, I don't think I'll be entering the most beautiful balcony, do you? I'll have a garden one day. Nothing too big. I'm not greedy, but something nice, you know? Oh, I love your bed. I never want to get up. Great. And your sheets are so soft. Yeah, and Egyptian cotton. <laughs> My mum gave them as a gift. And I love your shower. It's so powerful. And don't forget me started on your unfloor heating. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> Waking up in a pop video at your place. I never want to leave. So. Still inseparable as ever, then, you two? Yeah, we are. At least we were this morning, weren't we? Nice. So what, are you two living together, then? Oh, uh, no. Less. OK. I wish me and Carly had a pad of us own. Just Mum's always there. I know that feeling. Well, why don't you move out? I could just see you in your own place. It's just how can we afford it, though? I mean, every penny we get goes on the salon. Still, it is his future, I suppose, so... Well, one day, maybe. Yeah. 
See ya. Bye. Bye. Aww. David and Kylie are well loved up. Uh, look, we're never very busy on a Monday. Why don't you take the afternoon off, eh? Hey, there is nowhere else I would rather be than right by your side. Come on. I don't understand is what Eileen gets from it. I mean, it can hardly be the most relaxing thing in the world, having your boyfriend and his wife in the next room. I oh, know. I know, and the worst thing is that he works nights and she works during the day. They're like ships that pass in the Guinness. <gasps> what? I'm going to tell Eileen you compared her to an ocean-going vessel. Oh, hello. Who's this little chappy? Mm -hmm. Liam. Oh, hello, Liam. Who's a handsome chappy? Say hello, Liam. No, he's a bit shy. Oh, he's rude. Bring back national service, that's what I say. Oh, aye. And the death penalty. It'd be a start. <laughs> What's she like, her? <laughs> you are so different to our Dylan, isn't he? Hmm? You remember that time in the bus? Mm. Oh, when he hit that bald man on the head and said, <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you really miss him, don't you? God, yeah. I think about him all the time. He's such a little sweetie. Mm. When do you think we'll see him again? I don't know. I've not spoke to Violet for ages. You were green round here, though, didn't you? Well, she'll have to keep him under lock and key at Grassmere Drive. Yeah. Or in Madame Tussauds with all the other dodgy grimpies. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Have a wonderful day, my darling. See you at lunchtime. Oh, no. Are they back together again? Well, the tongues certainly are. Oh. See you later, love. Yeah. Good luck. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, what a lovely thing to say. Could almost be a quotation. <laughs> Give me another kiss. Mm. Oh. oh, I don't believe this. It's disgusting. Get a room, will you? You're knocking everybody sick. Oh. You're quiet this morning. Am I? You're right. Yeah, just thinking. Oh, first time for everything. We've run out of hot pots. Might be an idea to call Betty, see if she's made another batch. Morning. All right? Morning, love. You all right? Yeah, a bit hungover, but... I am so sorry, Stella, about last night. Oh, don't worry. We all deserve a blowout at some point. How'd you get home? Um, I don't really want to talk about it. An old mate came and got me. Long story. Go easy on her, Stella. Any fool can see she's suffering. I am going easy on her. She's my mate. I'm just concerned, that's all. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's none of my business anyway. So what did Dev have to say about it? We haven't talked much. I don't think there's really much to say, I suppose. I don't really remember much, to be honest. I remember bits, but... Oh, relationships are hard, aren't they? I mean, I deserve a medal for putting up with this one. I deserve a medal for putting up with you. <laughs> Still, you'll have to talk to him sometime. Yeah. Hello, Kenneth. Oh, hello, Stephen. Uh, just on the way to the library, take these back. Oh, any good? Well, I finally finished Wolf Hall. Not me. I hear Tracy's no further on, finding herself a job. Oh, she's milking it, that one. I mean, have you ever known I have a Protestant work ethic? Oh, when you put it like that, yeah. I did have a word, but the law unto herself, as you well know. Well, cheers, mate. I appreciate that. Even though it didn't do the trick. Well, every little helps. Anyway, why should she find a job where she can fleece me for every penny I haven't got because of this divorce? Oh, she hasn't won yet. Oh, sorry, these books weigh a ton, so I'd better get on. Of course, uh, latest, Ken. Yeah, yeah, uh, latest. Kissing in the street in broad daylight. At first, I thought my glasses needed cleaning, but no, there they were, bold as brass. What sort of a kiss was it? Not really. Well, you know, it was full on, like teenagers in a disco. Oh, it was obscene. Gail wasn't happy. Well, they say there's no fool like an old fool and, and Audrey's no spring chicken. Hey, well, uh, let's not be too quick to judge. Of course, she's not the only one to be taken in by Louisa's charms. I'm saying nothing. Well, look how folk judge me and Dennis. Look at us now. Love's a young dream. Have you come for your cigarettes? Yes, please, love. Can you give me four to save me coming back later? Until this afternoon. Cheeky. Oh, 
Oh, stop screaming at him! Are we bricking it? And how do you think I feel, Einstein? Come on, baby, come to Daddy. Look, just get it out of there. Get it out of my house! You all right? No, I'm not all right. There's a rat in my bread bin. I'm not even safe in my own home. <laughs> How's he getting there? Dunno. Do you write your fancy for tea, babe? Can't be bothered cooking. I was going to get Chef to rustle something up. I thought you were saying yours tonight. Sorry, Norris. Um, Is the table for one? Uh, no, I, uh... No, I, 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 I wish to make a booking uh, for, for this evening. Uh, table for four, uh, about six, if you can. Yeah, that's fine. What's your surname, Norris? Oh, uh, uh, Cole. Oh, like Cheryl. Oh. Cheryl. I love her. Uh... I have some news. I shifted that state, but not this one. What's going on? Well, um, here's the thing. I just thought you should know that, um, that Audrey and I are back together. Back together? You brainwashed it, you mean. Gail! No, don't speak to me. Don't insult me. Why? Get it a lot. There's a surprise. Right, look. Louis came to see me. Twisting your mind like he's twisted me man. Gail doesn't look very happy. It's not helpful, Norris. Yeah, I think some people are perpetually unhappy. Yeah, and it just eats away at them. If you think I'm going to stand idly by while my mam's made a fool of yet again... Look, can we take the shoes to the office? Oh, not going anywhere with him. Good jinx in here. Is it always like this? We're running low on hot pots. Yeah, uh, Stella's gonna call Betty. What does she know about last night? Stella, nothing, don't worry. Nothing? Well, she doesn't know that I sprung you from the clink, and it's probably best she never does. Okay. Thanks, Carl. Sonia. Uh, I'm sorry, you know. Oh, don't worry your head about it. Oh, you need to melt those hot pots, oh, love. please. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, and, uh, just for the record, you're an amazing kisser. Listen, I've been thinking... Well, that I'm the most handsome man to ever walk the planet since... Yeah, yeah, since myself, correct. Uh, no, listen, seriously, the sharp boys are DJing at the mill bar tonight. I was thinking maybe, well, I'm working, but I could get off early and we could juge on down. Oh, God, I've just promised Maria I'll take Liam to nursery in the morning. Have you? I just don't want a late one, that's all. Right. Will you go? I don't look on my own. You go with one of your mates. No, it doesn't matter. You know, you know earlier when you said that you'd been missing Dylan? Mm hmm They need more vinegar, <laughs> FYI. Don't say FYI. You're talking to me, not emailing me. <clears throat> well, I, I don't know what, what you said earlier. It was just really sweet and... It's like he's ours. He's not just my son, but... You having second thoughts about adopting? What? No. Oh, right. Well, we... We've got Dylan, haven't we? No, darling, Violet's got Dylan. We just get to take him out every now and again, like a DVD from Blockbuster. Don't say that. Those chips need to be soggy out. See you later. If you want a photograph, Gail, I'd be willing to pose. I don't think she's right, Happy Audrey. I don't think she's right, full stop. Uh, g and Stella, please. Yeah. You should have heard how Nick was speaking to me in the bistro earlier. Defending your erstwhile boyfriend? Goodness knows why. Shocking. Oh, well, one son with brains, then. Hey, take that back. Show some intelligence, David, and I might. Just cos he doesn't like your fella don't make him a thick huh? I don't know where to put myself. <laughs> I know, I've shown myself up in my time, but nothing like this. It's mental, innit? Tell me about it. Oh, dearie me. Who needs to watch loose women when we've got you four? Your Lewis could start a fight in an empty room. I'll tell you what you don't like, shall I, Gail? Here comes the science bit. You don't like the fact that I found a little bit of happiness for once. Happiness? Is that what you call it? With an ex gigolo. Ex? Oh, do shut up. Yes, he's made mistakes. Who hasn't? Just give him a break. Has anyone heard out from Sally? Yeah, she's coming out of hospital. I spoke to Sophie earlier. She's a lot better now, so fingers crossed. 
Blimey Moses, but you see a lot. Help yourself. Mmm, yeah, nice. Leslie made them. Leslie? Yes, Beth. Barmy Leslie made these butter. She's not barmy, she's got early onset Alzheimer's. You're the barmy one, Beth. What? Worried about catch something? Mm. No. Mm. Do you know, can you? No! No, you can't, you great wazzit. I bet she didn't wash her hands first. Oh, cos you're always sanitising your digits after you've been to the ladies. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't need to, cos I just... Uh, too much oh, in my face! You know what? In other words, shut your face, Beth. Sorry. What are you apologising for? I have hardly had any sleep. I'm running on empty. If you must know, I feel shocking. Mm, you look shocking. Thank you! It's unfair. Paul's keep putting on you like this. Did you have any sleep last night? He's doing his best. You need to unwind. Why don't we go for cheeky vodka after work? Mm. What do you think? I'm working, but I'll serve. I'm up for it. I love getting on one, me. You know, for once, I can actually say yes. Text Paul and tell me you're a little bit late home. I think I will. Mm. I'm sorry I offended you, Eileen. No problem, Beth. I'm sure you didn't mean it. No, I never. I'm all out, really. It's just by me people. It scare me. Ta. Oh, you still has a hangover. I haven't got a hangover. No, I met my common-law wife. She's had better days. Well, she kind of had worse nights. You were with her. What went wrong? I like Sunita. And I know I don't know you that well. You seem decent. Thank you. You know, I love it when my customers give me a character appraisal. Pound, please. I don't really know what's going on in her head at the moment. And it's not for me to say, but I think you should talk to her. I really do. Hands and bits over there. Where? At the bistro. I think it's time you accepted that they're together. In bits? In bits? I very much doubt that. And if she is, I'm sure Lewis can glue her back together again. Look, I can't have you kicking off every time you see them. Not at work. Leave her alone, will you? She's my employee. Yeah, well, she's our mum. Doesn't that count for anything? Don't patronise me, David. Bottom line is, Nick, what if he breaks Audrey's out again? Yeah, who's going to be there to pick up the pieces then? Yeah, shaking vac features over there. Ain't it the truth? So what are you going to do then? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah, that's what he said. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over there and sort it out once and for all. Mum, what are you doing, Mum? You know, I was just wondering whether we should go away for a few days, let this hue and cry settle down. Oh. I don't know. Devon, Cornwall, Silly Isle? It looks like we're running away from the playground bullies, when what you should actually do is... Tell a teacher. Oh, stand up to them. Oh, dear. Talk of the devil. Mum, what are you doing? Mum, would you just leave me alone? Now, can I point out that fighting in the workplace is the height of vulgarity? Mum, please. Don't make another massive mistake. Oh, Gail. Don't get upset. Look, we're in love. No amount of tears and name-calling is going to change that. You're deluded. <sighs> is happiness so alien to you that you don't recognise it when you see it, hmm? It kills me to say this, ma'am. What? If you won't change your mind. It's not my mind I need to change, darling. It's my heart. Then please... Do me the courtesy of never speaking to me again. You're not meant to be back here. Why, honey? Is it against the law? Do you think I'll be arrested? Hiya, Dev. Uh, hiya, Esther. Could I uh, please borrow my wife? I just need to take her home, you know, just to well, talk. Why don't you knock off earlier, Sunita? I won't tell the boss if you won't. Are you sure? Oh, she just said so, didn't she? Come on. Thank you. It'll be all right. Thanks, Stella. They had it. Sorry? We need to talk about Kevin. Why? What's he done? No, it's a book. I was talking about it at breakfast. I made that film with that actress I like. Penelope Keys. No. Can I go up? and play? Yeah, of course you can, love. Ah, this is cosy. So, who paid for the high tea, then? Uh, let me guess. You did, Deirdre. I'm sorry. Oh, nothing. Oh, don't start, Ken. If you knew the sort of day I've had. You know, I saw Steve earlier. Ooh, bully for you. Yeah, well, I think your behaviour towards him is absolutely appalling. Her behaviour? 
What about his? Oh, you would spring to her defence. Back in your box, Deirdre. Well, do you defend your son? <laughs> Only the other week, he was confessing to a flaming murder. Oh, may I remind you, he was actually innocent. Yeah, pity he was too pickled to remember. Whereas Freeloader actually did time. Oh, before being let off, have I been rechristened and nobody's told me? You always have to bring that up, don't you? She was let off. Do you know what? I might go to the pub. Enjoy. I will. Oh. You know, sometimes, just sometimes, he's got a face you want to smack. That was a bit harsh, what she said. She's full of hot air, Gail. When she's not blowing hot and cold, of course. Oh, she'll get over it. She's got to. Can I really change the way they feel? <sighs> Do you know, isn't it funny how one sentence can make you look at things so differently? I was so confident this morning. I'd take on the world. Now, I just don't want to be around any of this nastiness. Really? <sighs> really. <sighs> Do you know, your gut instinct was right. We should go away. Permanently. And we'll be back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>